guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today we're going to go over the GIS add-on for Blender. This add-on is a fantastic tool so you can bring in OpenStreetMap data directly into a 3D environment. So if you don't have Blender, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's just a great open source uh, free program where you could just create 3D visualizations and film. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, so once you download Blender, we're going to go to GitHub to actually get the add-on. I'll leave a link in the description down below as well. So to download this add-on, we go to code, download zip. So the zip file is going to go ahead and download. So let's open up Blender. And we're going to go to edit, preferences. We are going to install. And we're going to go to our downloads. And we're going to find that Blender GIS master zip file and install add-on. And it's right here. So we're going to click on the box right here just to enable that tool. And we'll close out. And here is that add-on. So if we click onto it, we go to Web Geodata, and we can add a base map. It's going to default to Google Satellite because certainly change that to OSM, Bing, Esri. And you get the world view. So what you could do is you can actually pan around and in the crosshairs here, that's going to be your area of interest. So you can either zoom in and pan around, or if you press 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 G on your keyboard, it's the go to button. So you could go to, you could type in a location. I'm going to type in Los Angeles. There's a lot of good big buildings there. And we could adjust the zoom level. I'm going to say 14 in this example. Click on OK. And we're zoomed in. So again, we're pulling OpenStreetMap data into our map here. And as you know, the wider out you go, the more data, the slower it's going to be. So I highly recommend that you actually zoom in um, just to really reduce that amount of data that's being pulled. Uh, especially for the first time. So you kind of ad adjust accordingly. So say this is my area of interest and this canvas is my area of interest. We're going to export this image by pressing the E key for export. And as you can see, it's just a two dimensional image. So what we're going to do is to get that open street map data is go back to our GIS add on. So GIS web geodata get osm now here are all the different um, features we could bring in buildings highways land use we can select the whole thing by uh, uh, selecting the shift button and selecting all the features here be sure that you collect this box here elevation from object just so we have that 3d um, height and you can also uh, manipulate the default heights here if you need to. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it defaulted. Click OK. Now, this might take a few minutes. Again, it just all depends on your, your, your extent, um, how detailed the area is. OpenStreetMap data is also, um, it's not going to be covered everywhere. It just depends on the, the location, um, what kind of data is available. So if you do have an area that's kind of partial, it's just up to what's available in OpenStreetMap. So this didn't take long, maybe 30 seconds. But here's our data here. And I'm just going to use my roller button on my mouse to kind of angle the plane. But now you can see all those three dimension, those buildings in a three-dimensional environment. You could uh, change the uh, you know, the shadowing, the look of the buildings to, to make it look a little more presentable. But it's just a really great tool to kind of have a very good visualization of the buildings in your area. Um, if I expand the buildings up here, you can actually see all the building names. These were attributed in OpenStreetMap. It would be a great uh, feature, but I don't think it's available now. But if you could like right click onto it and select maybe you can zoom to it but you can see there's a little error down here says not yet implemented so maybe or hopefully in a future release that could be available 
But I hope this was helpful. This is just a very simple tutorial how to bring in OpenStreetMap data into a three-dimensional environment. I hope you guys found that useful. If there's any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As always, if you find value in this kind of video, I really do appreciate if you click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.